What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, I answer the important question, is it worth it to get into influencer? I think you'll be shocked at my answer to this as well as my reasoning behind it, but you definitely wanna have a look. And if you haven't been approved, then you certainly wanna have a look and you can't miss this. So I'm super fired up for this. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. All right, so we're here on my screen share, and uh, before we jump into the video, I just want to remind everybody, if you have not gotten into Influencer and you're having a hell of a hard time getting in there, I do want to remind everyone that my email is below. Send me a shout out through the email, and I will be more than happy to send you this guide that we're basing all the tactics that I'm about to cover in this video on what I wrote in this guide. Now, it's a quick 17-page read. As you can see, I made it quite entertaining. I included a couple of interesting characters in there, but there's a lot of memes there's a lot of animated gifs and stuff like that but what this does is this breaks down the basis behind what amazon influencer is looking for in terms of a pr complete profile in order to approve you so it doesn't give you the exact details of what it takes to get approved because there are no exact details they still remain quite mysterious and by they i mean amazon does in general however this is what i've collectively assumed based off of the hundreds and hundreds of people i've talked with and i've seen whether or not their profiles did get approved this is what i assume that they are looking Looking for and when I do tell people what they've got to do to their profile nine times out of ten they get approved and recently it's been ten out of ten so if you're having trouble getting approved send me an email I'll be more than happy to evaluate why you haven't gotten approved and we can talk more about what I can potentially help you with so now let's jump into the whole basis of this video which is is it really worth it to get into Amazon Influencer? That's what every inquiring mind out there wants to know. My answer to that might shock you, and it might not, but it is absolutely fucking lutely Yes, you should get in this, and I will continue to say that this is the easiest side hustle I've ever seen in the history of my time online. And you guys don't wanna know how long that is, because then I'm gonna start telling you stories like your grandma, pretty much. That's how long I've been around, but, I'm telling you, hands down, this is one of the best side hustles I've ever seen. And so a lot of people try to get into this and they can't. What can you do in order to guarantee you get approval? Well, first and foremost, you need to do the most important thing that there is to do, which is you need to take a look at the assets you already have. And by assets, I mean your social media profiles. So we're talking about the big four, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, what's that other one? Oh, Facebook, Facebook, that's what they are. Meta, whatever the hell they're calling themselves. It doesn't really matter what they call themselves, but whatever that you do have, whatever asset you have, you need to evaluate those. Obviously, I got in with YouTube having a decent number of subscribers on YouTube, and I'm talking about at least 7,000 plus subscribers on YouTube, and regularly posting will almost guarantee you a spot in Influencer, but let's face it, not all of us have that luxury. Or, or was it really a luxury? Uh, last time I realized it was hard work, right? But what we all can agree on is most of us do have Instagram. So let's let's go ahead and tackle Instagram. I by no means am an expert at Facebook. I don't even bother with that anymore. Uh, who the hell is still using Facebook, right? But with Instagram, I still don't even use Instagram, but I'm gonna go ahead and analyze a couple different profiles and tell you why I don't believe they got approved. But even if you don't have an Instagram that's flourishing, I will tell you what the easiest way to get into the program is at the end here. But first, let's go ahead and cover Instagram and why or why not were these people declined or would they be declined and or approved is more or less what I'm trying to say. So the first one is this guy. I just randomly picked this guy out. Uh, this guy's a music producer, which doesn't matter what the hell you do. None of this matters. What does matter is these 11 posts and these 906 followers. So that would mean he would get instantly declined and those are the two biggest red flags on this one the fact that he only has 11 posts you want to have more or less around 30 posts when you're trying to apply for this program so 30 posts and posting still with regularity so he should have some recent posts which shows that he still is influencer worthy the second red flag for them would be this 906 followers the lowest 
account that I've seen approved where it's just solely standing on the basis of its Instagram influence is an account with 5,000 followers. So he would still definitely need to add some followers before he's even considered for the program. But my assumption is that on phase one approval, this one will be instantly declined. So just to remind everybody really quickly, there's two phases of approval. Phase one is a bot that just looks at these certain little credentials. So this guy would be automatically declined. And he certainly would probably be declined because phase two has a human element in it, which means that there's a human looking at this. And not only do they look at phase two and what you submit to get approved for phase two, but they look at this social media profile again with a human eye. So this guy would certainly be declined. Now let's look at the second person. Oh, that looks familiar. That's me. And you'll notice I only got four posts. So if the other guy got declined at 11 posts, I certainly would get declined at four posts. I've got 2,000 followers. I don't even know how the hell I got them. But people, people are nosy. What can I say? But this 2,000 needs to be at or around 5K. I could potentially do it with 2,500, but I have to have a lot more posts. I would be immediately declined. So that's that. Uh, let's take a look at this one who, who stole my name, right? This, this lady stole my name. She has 383 posts, which is insanity. She would be approved based off of the number of posts, but her followers are just way too low. She needs to up that to, again, probably around, and I would say 5,000 to be safe until I see an account approved with 2,500 that's not connected to anything else and is solely approved just on the basis of it being Instagram worthy, but she would be declined also. Now let's get into one that would be absolutely approved i think this girl is simple it's it will work because it's her she got 1029 posts 1865 followers this one's one of the borderline one where she could immediately find out just by being or submitting for phase one she'll know instantly if she's approved or not and if this will work even on phase two if it doesn't then it just holds true that they need to be at around 5,000 followers but if i was her i would certainly try and the reason for this is she got these posts and it's quite personalized. You could tell she's a real person. She's on here and she's doing things and it's great. This is what Instagram wants to see and they also want to see you sign up. Clearly, I'm not signed up, so I'm going to jump off of there. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the absolute easiest way, in my opinion, of how to get into Influencer. If you don't have an Instagram, you don't have 20 or 30 posts, then what you're going to need to do is make a TikTok account. And the reason that I say that is one of the things that Influencer is more than likely looking at on your Instagram account is the age. And if they see that it's rather recent and it's just got those posts all just thrown up there in a shit storm of posts, and you just did post vomit one day, they're probably gonna decline it. Cause remember a person is looking at this. So they're gonna look at how old the account is and how recent the posts are and all that shit. And that's just not gonna fly with them. But with TikTok, there's real, really no way of telling. For some reason, they don't really look at those things on TikTok. They like the fact that it's a newer platform and they would like to expand their reach with more TikTok users as opposed to Instagram users. So for TikTok, they're willing to forgive that. So let's take a look at a couple different accounts that I pulled up that would either be approved or declined. Uh, the first one is this cat bin, and this person is just cleaning, organizing, and doing their lifestyle. So this person has an Amazon store, so absolutely. This is somebody to model after. They got 11.9 million followers, and they basically just show themselves using these Amazon products and filming little snippet videos. And this would absolutely work if you modeled it after this. And I know a lot of people are like, holy shit, Liz, she put a lot of effort into these videos and that's just too many fucking videos for me to do. I get it, people, I get it, calm the hell down. I should just say calm the fuck down, right? So what you would do in this instance, if you were to want to model something after this girl, is you would just simply just take 12 to 15 videos and start posting about two a day over the course of six days. And after you get approved on phase one, which you should, and if you don't, then it means that you need to get more followers. So you need to keep rinsing and repeating that formula for a little bit until you get enough followers. If, if you want the hack of the trick, make sure you ask me that in the email below and I'll kind of tell you more or less how to go about that. But what happens after that is then you'll get into phase two. And while you're waiting to get approved at phase two, you want to continue to submit more videos. Now, they don't have to be cinematic epic movie of any sorts or videos like she's done here they can be even more simple and more basic and as time progresses you should get better and better at doing these videos just as she did but either way this is really well done 
A second one is this food guy, 10.1 million followers. I know I've p I picked a couple people with a lot of followers, but my whole point with this guy is just to show you, you can get approved with 12 videos like this that have a lot of personality behind it, where you're talking on the camera and you're telling people stuff. Now this guy is always eating food, which is fine, you can do that too, but my main point about him is he's showing his face, and that's why you would get approved if you were this guy, even if you had 1,500 followers, you would get approved. The next one that I'm going to show is this funny animal one that would more than likely not be approved since there is no main personality behind it other than a cat. It's just cats. I don't really see the person behind it in here that much. She would have to be in here a lot more. It does seem like some of her family is on here, but it's not enough of her to warrant an approval. So I don't really think that this one would get approved just for that reason. So there has to be a person behind the brand. It cannot be a cat. The next one is the Snaky Frost. Again, the only reason I'm showing this is because the guy shows his face. Even though it's covered in tattoos, he's showing his face on almost every single post. So Amazon sees that he is influencer worthy because it has a face behind the tattoos, right? And I know I pick people with a ton of ton of followers, but it wasn't by intention. Even if that Snaky Frost had 1,500 followers, 2,000 followers, he would get approved. This one, again, would not just because it's cats and there is no personality behind it. Amazon wants to see more than just pets behind it. This one here, this one is more than likely yes. Now, the fact that it has a lot of weapons is potentially no, but if you got rid of some of these weapons, and let's take a look at where the store is. If you got rid of some of these weapons, then you might actually, and there's no link to Amazon, if it was other products, like if these were all Hello Kitty based products, then and they were all available on Amazon, then absolutely would get approved. The weapon thing is possibly the only reason it wouldn't. And there's a lot of things like handcuffs and knives and, and stuff like that that Amazon doesn't really like too much. But if it was all like other things, it would get approved for sure. Now let's look at a couple last two. This one is a toss up. It's basically, there is a girl behind all this, but she cooks all this. All I see is food. If she was potentially using products to make the food that are available on Amazon, then it would get approved. But this one, more than likely, it would get approved. Let's take a look at what she has, and we'll have a look at recipes, snack boxes, follow me and stuff on, on let's see where these snack boxes are. And yeah, it's a different site. So. This one's a toss up. I still just wanted to throw that one in there just in case. And that's pretty much all I've got. A standard thing that I like to look at a TikTok is at least 2000 followers with a lot of personality behind it and at least a minimum of 12 posts when it goes through on phase one. Beyond that, remember, you gotta keep making content until you get approved into phase two, but that's a quick and dirty version of what you should be looking to create if you haven't gotten on Influencer. And again, wanted to answer that question. It is absolutely almost necessary to get into influencer. You should do anything it takes to get in short of do something illegal, right? But anyways, questions or comments go below. I always answer those. Remember my email is below in case you do want to copy this guide and that's it.